I'm Steve for This Hook with Cars, and today I'm back with another item for our emergency kit that we carry with us in the car. Previously, I've gone over jump packs and air compressors, and I think today's item will be a great addition to our emergency kit as well. I've never actually seen one of these, so when it popped up on Amazon, I thought I'd give it a try. Let's take a look at it. Wow, it comes in a nice carry case. Even has a safety triangle on this side. Wow, this is big. So what this is, is a cordless hydraulic jack. So if you get a flat tire, you can raise your car up. The jacks that come with cars are notoriously terrible. And this one will take a whole lot less effort. It even comes with some other tools like a glass breaker hammer. Oh, there's even some sockets in here. Let's take a look. We have a power cord that connects it to a cigarette outlet. Well, I wasn't actually expecting this. Uh, this says this is a three-in-one device. It says 12 volts over here. I guess that's where we store our cord. On this side it says air. We have a little air compressor built into this. That's nice. And then of course we have the hydraulic jack. It has a little flashlight on that side. And on the top there's a gauge that shows you how much air you have pumped into your tires. This isn't light. Seems well built actually. And I like the little carrying case. We also have some gloves in here. There's a couple lug nut sockets, two sizes on each socket. So there must be a wrench around here. Is that what this for? I think this might be a lug nut wrench. Then we have some alligator clips with a 12 volt socket on it. In order to operate this, we will have to plug it into a cigarette outlet. So I'll grab a battery so that we can connect this up. I have a 12 volt source right here. Plug this in. Let's try the lug nut wrench first. That would be the first operation you would be doing. It has a light on it. And it has L and T for loosen and tighten. It has some pretty good torque to it. I don't know if that will break every lug nut loose, but it's worth a try. Now on the back side of this, we have this wire. This is where we will connect the power to the jack up. So we do have a flashlight on this as well. See what we're doing. There's even a light that shines up so you can see what you're doing with your jack pad. This first switch here switches between the air compressor and the position closest to the jack. And if you flip it the other way, that provides power to the jack. So we turn that on first, and we can go up and down. This is not a momentary switch. When you hit that, it will continually run until you've pressed the switch again. So if you need to raise your vehicle up quite a ways, you can just leave it like that. If we change the switch from the jack to the air compressor, we can hear that run. Let's use it on a real vehicle and see how well it actually works. The first thing we need to do to power the electric jack or the electric wrench is to connect to the power. In a modern vehicle, you can plug the cigarette outlet into your car and leave the car running. But for most old cars, which may not have an outlet, we can connect straight to the battery. This will allow us to have a cigarette outlet straight on the battery. We'll plug our power cord in, and then we can throw the rest of this over to our jack. Normally, you will leave your car running when you're using the jack or the wrench, but for the sake of this video, I don't want the extra noise. So I'm going to simulate the engine running by connecting a battery charger up to the battery. 
I'm going to set it to 20 amps. And this will ensure that we're getting the proper voltage going to the jack and the wrench. The first thing that I want to test is the electric wrench. So I'm going to make sure that one of these lug nuts is torqued to 100 foot pounds. And we'll see if the wrench is powerful enough to remove it. We connect our power cord to the wrench and our switch has loosened and tightened. It actually has plenty of power. It kind of spun up before it actually applied power so that it had a, a really nice hit on that socket. I'm actually pretty impressed how strong that was. It must have some sort of flywheel in there because it didn't put much pressure on my hand. It didn't try to torque out of my hand like I expected it would. Let's tighten it and see if it gets it back to 100 foot-pounds or not. Wasn't quite there, but it was almost there. That definitely would get you home so that you could properly check it with a torque wrench later. Let's try the air compressor next. Here on our gauge, it says we're at about 26 PSI. Let's take it up to 30. That's about 30 PSI. I don't know how much of this device is taken up by the compressor. Probably most of this square right here. I don't really see any vents or fans for their compressor, but in an emergency, I think this is gonna do it. Now let's try the jack. We'll find a nice solid place on the frame to lift the car up. And if we needed to raise this up a little to meet the frame, we can turn the top of this to raise it up more. And we'll turn it to the jack setting and go up. Our tire's off the ground now. We can turn it off. Look at how far that has come up. I have to say that I think is the easiest emergency jack that I've ever used. I think it's the same speed coming back down. I'm just curious how high will this actually go. If you started from its lowest point, it will go to the height of 14 and a half inches. If we started from the highest point with this all the way out. This will come out completely. Turn it back in a little bit. Now that's a height of about 18 inches. If you have a really tall truck, you might need to put a couple blocks under it. But that is pretty dang impressive. Well, in summary, I actually like this kit. This part of the kit, I, I very much like. However, the rest of this, I'm not sure actually makes any sense. The hammer, I'm never going to use that. The seatbelt cutter, 
what good is that in an emergency if it's in this case locked in your trunk? And I think I could do away with the electric wrench as well. I would rather there be a little breaker bar that was in here that I could use to get the lug nuts loose and tighten them. I suppose the electric wrench works well for those who don't know how tight the lug nuts should be. If they were to cut out the electric wrench and the hammer and things and the case was half the size that it was right now, I would like this a lot more. As it is, this case is pretty bulky. It's also pretty heavy. So you have the weight of both of these things here and I don't think that's necessary. Throwing it in the trunk and forgetting about it, this is a lot of space that's being used up for this. I would settle with just the jack and the air compressor. And that's going to be it for today. If you want to get yourself one of these, I'll have a link in the description below. And of course, comment below and click subscribe.